Wiper Party is coming down hard on its members who campaigned for Jubilee in the just concluded Makweni by election. The party is threatening to suspend or expel two MPs it accuses of backing its rivals in the Makweni race. Katin Samugina has these details. The party is over for the Wiper Party, or so it would appear. Just days after its landslide victory in Makweni, the party is cracking the whip on dissidents believed to have supported the Jubilee Alliance in that by-election. A National Executive Council meeting has set up a three-man team to probe the conduct of Mboni parliamentarian Michael Kisoi Munyau and Kilome MP Regina Dambuki. And Wiper is ready to go to the extreme of stripping them at their positions. One could be reprimand, another one could be a suspension, another one be, could be expulsion. So all this will be on the table. WIPA's top decision-making organ has appointed a disciplinary committee to be chaired by Justice Wabutura with the task of probing the conduct of the two legislatures. The committee's report is due in two weeks. Certainly, if there will be evidence, the party will take action against anyone who does not, who did not support the party. But for now, we take these as allegations, and the NEC must ensure that there is due process. Everybody must be given a hearing, so that when we make those conclusions, they will be very well informed. Punitive action against the two was mooted at Makueni Senator Mutula Kilonzo Jr.'s campaign launch, with the duo branded as renegades and traitors. The two backed Jubilee Alliance's NAC candidate, Philip Kaloki, who came a distant second in the by-election. The decision also appeared to have been sanctioned by WIPA leader Kalonzo Musioka, who accuses the Jubilee Alliance of having colluded with the IEBC to lock out Kefi Kilonzo. <laughs> If we want to make a difference as a party, let us change our law so that if a person, like in democratic states, who votes against their party is deemed to have defected. The law talks about recall, I'm sure, may have to be applied in this case. And so uh, I heard it loud and clear from the people because... The people are saying, let's go in this direction, and instead of the member of parliament leading, yeah, they are the ones who are following the people. Despite losing the Matungulu seat in an election petition, the party remains upbeat of repeating the Makuweni fit. Samugina Ketian, Nairobi.